If you haven't subscribed already, ring that bell to get notified when new movies are posted. Hey, this is Chris Young here from HomeKit Geek. If you are looking at picking up a NetAtmo welcome camera, I'd be really grateful if you'd look and consider using the Amazon affiliate links in the video details. So let's get into this. Not too long ago, um, I released a video on NetAtmo welcome camera and said, hey guys, it looks like it's going to be getting HomeKit soon. Hopefully we'll have news blah, blah, blah. I'll uh, post the video up in the link. And I'm happy to let you know that yes, we got it. We got works with Apple HomeKit. It's cool. We got more cameras that support HomeKit now. Let's take a look. So we're going to skip over the whole unboxing here. We've already gone through that in the other video. Link up above. You log into the uh, NetAdmo app and there you get it now works with HomeKit. Would we like to enable that? Well, of course we would. Um, I've got two of the welcome cameras. And so we're going to uh, grab one of those and it's going to generate us a software based HomeKit code, which is interesting, right? We don't see these often. Um, it is asking us, hey, did you save the code, right? So you, you need to make sure you actually get this. I think you may be able to call NetAtmo support and get it back eventually. But uh, and look at that. We get a security update as well. They're being quite serious about this. Don't lose the code, right? So um, that is something that uh, we're going to have to put somewhere. So now I'm going to go through the setup home kit. We've saved our code. It's going to go searching for the camera of get this thing's already on Wi-Fi, So it should be able to find it fairly easily. And there it is the NetAtmo welcome. We can click on that identify. Uh, you know, we, we found the home kit accessories. We'd like to set it up. Okay, cool. Now it's going to go and it's going to ask me which one of my home kit houses would I like to put this in. And because Originally, this was in a um, NetAtmo home called Home, right? It's now got a problem with um, the two names. The two names are different. So it's going to say, hey, which one would you really like to use? So I will, of course, let the HomeKit one override it because I don't actually even want to imagine what would happen if I change the name of my home here and whether it would flow through to everything else. So now I've got a picture of that uh, HomeKit code. There we go. Accessory added. Really simple. Um, again, it was already on the Wi-Fi which was covered in the other video. So I didn't really have to do much here. So it's going to do the configure home kit thing for a little bit. And then it's going to start checking the camera's connection, register the camera with home kit itself. And we should see in a couple seconds, the, um, what gets exposed. Oh, but before that we have to actually choose what room we're going to put it in. So again, um, there was a little bit of conflict here because in the NetAtmo, I had named them slightly different naming conventions. I, I can't even tell you guys how important these are to think through. Um, and I really hadn't thought it through from the NetAtmo side. So now I'm going to pick which room that this particular camera is going to go in. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. This is going to go in, I believe, into the games room or, yeah, the games room. Uh, and look at that. Choose a name for your camera, family room. So apparently, I think I've got the wrong camera. So I'm going to have to go back um, eventually and change the room. Uh, and I've got the occupancy sensor and the motion sensor. So it's actually exposing both of those to HomeKit, which is kind of cool. Is um, The motion sensor is obviously going to be, hey, what was happening at that point in time? Uh, and the occupancy sensor is going to last, I'm going to assume, um, I actually don't know right now, so we'll check into this. It's going to last the period of whatever you have set for occupancy uh, within your NetAtmo app. So again, the NetAtmo camera does have the ability to do facial recognition and track when people are in your house or not. So meanwhile, what was going on in the background is when I tried to add the second camera, I had some issues. Um, it actually aired out and wouldn't add or at least wouldn't finish adding to HomeKit. So what I actually discovered is that it had discovered added properly to HomeKit. Um, there was just something that errored out, um, maybe name, I don't know what it was. So if you look there, you can see the room, default room. Um, it was actually added properly. So if you do have issues, you might want to check into your HomeKit settings. Look if you got the, um, the default room, something like that. Again, a little buggy, new software. I'll, I'll give them a little bit of, a uh, little bit of patience because, well, you know what? They delivered HomeKit. And speaking of which, so we're going to go back over to the Apple Home app here and uh, make sure that everything's working the way we think it should be, right? Um, so we've got rooms. We're going to go into, uh, I guess, the games room and see if it's there. And look at that. The family room camera is indeed actually in the family room. We've got the occupancy, the motion sensors. 
and they're in the games room. So I'm going to move these over back into the uh, dining room, which is where they actually live. And that will be that, right? That's simple. That's the beauty of HomeKit. Again, um, single interface. Once you get it in there, everything kind of works the same way. So we flipped over to the dining room there. And now you can see I've got both my uh, Logi Circle 2 uh, wired version pointing to the outside window. And I've now got the family room, uh, NetAtmo Welcome, right in here as well, which is pretty darn cool, right? So I've got everything available from the same device. I've got my motion sensor here. So I've got the additional motion center. You, you can see it's a NetAtmo Welcome. Um, that's got that 250, the software version. So that's what you're looking for if you haven't been updated yet. You've got the occupancy sensor, which again is going to last, uh, it's going to be triggered for longer. I believe that's going to be dependent on the settings within your NetAtmo app itself. And you can see here that we can log in and actually see what's going on, get live images, which is exactly what we want to do from a camera. One thing I also wanted to do is show you guys HomeCam. If you haven't seen this, I'll put a link to that review as well. Uh, if you've got HomeKit cameras, you're going to want to have this app. Um, you can see here it's going to show the live image of the different cameras that you've got. And you can kind of circle through them and do various things. You can, if you've got... Um, other sensors in the room, like in this case, uh, in my games room downstairs, I have Elgato, or sorry, not Elgato, the Eve, Eve Systems uh, room. So I've got temperature, you know, those kinds of things. That's going to be pulled into the settings as well. And uh, of course, I can also directly change the lights. So it's kind of a different uh, take on the home kit control. Uh, really based around the camera of that's in that particular room. Really cool. If you haven't, definitely check it out. Um, Aaron Pierce is the developer. Super cool guy doing a lot of great work. So we can see here that I'm having a connection issue with the family room NetAtmo camera. So one of them works, one of them doesn't. You know what? That doesn't surprise me. There are going to be some bugs to work out as they get through this, but they have delivered, right? That's the most important thing is uh, from here on in, it's just bug fixes. So we have a lot to look forward to. So there's been problems. There's been issues with... Um, Vendors, especially doorbell vendors, you know who you are, promising HomeKit support and then never delivering. So it is, it's always really good to see when a company makes promises to its customers and then keeps them. You know who I'm talking about. So um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Works with Apple HomeKit. If you're looking at picking one up, definitely look in the video details. There is a Amazon affiliate link there that I would totally appreciate if you guys would consider using. Um, questions, comments, you know what to do. Put them down below. I will uh, get back to you as I, soon as I possibly can. Likes, shares, all that stuff's always appreciated. Um, definitely subscribe. Ring that bell if you want to be notified when there's new videos. And if you want to learn how to make your house a little smarter using Apple HomeKit, do me a favor and check out the video details. There is also a coupon code for my Udemy class. Thanks.